The U.S. Army's ambitious LHX, light helicopter experimental, program called for a new armed reconnaissance-slash-scout helicopter to replace the service's force of 3,000 AH-1s, OH-6S, and OH-58s. A request for proposals was issued in June 1988, and 23-month demonstration and validation contracts were placed with two industrial teamings, the Super Team, Bell and McDonnell Douglas, and the first team, Boeing and Sikorsky. In April 1991 the designation and name RAH-66 Comanche were selected and the first team was announced as winner. The Comanche is designed for minimum observability and is based on a stealthy airframe built largely of composite materials. Its advanced avionics are designed for maximum commonality with the F-22 Raptor Air Superiority Fighter and include dual triplex fly-by-wire control systems with side-stick cyclic pitch controllers, a glass cockpit with two large liquid crystal displays in each cockpit, advanced crew helmet displays and sights, a comprehensive self-protection suite, and provision for longbow radar. Development of the RAH-66 Comanche has been slowed by technical considerations as well as political antipathy and budgetary delays. The definitive program emerged in 1995 and called for two IRA-66 flying prototypes, the first flying on January 4, 1996, plus six early operational capability helicopters with reconnaissance equipment but no armament for trials from 2001. In 1998 the planned total was 1,292 helicopters with the possibility of 389 to be added later, however the whole program was cancelled in 2004. Only two prototypes are now on display. The U.S. Department of Defense promised to use technology of the cancelled Comanche for future projects. However, an official program for a stealthy transport helicopter was never publicized. In 2011, a top secret U.S. helicopter emerged that is commonly referred as a stealthy Black Hawk. It was observed during the in Pakistan that took down Osama bin Laden. At least two helicopters were used during that raid and carried U.S. Navy SEALs. During the operation one of these helicopters was damaged, became inoperable and made a hard landing. After the operation, the SEALs blew it up with explosives. However, tail section of the stealthy helicopter survived. There were absolutely no official comments regarding this helicopter. However, it is possible that it uses technology of the cancelled Comanche.